marvellous. You stole the Requiem. What's the dreaded pirate to do now without his ship? Our passage from the island is secure. That is, if you're interested in leaving. And if you stay, I stay. Do not thank me. We stand together, you and I. We started this journey as companions, but the fires of adversity have made us something more. Friends. And I don't let my friends down. Well, not counting that time with Garant. He died. Now go. Find the turncoat. If Dead Cal means to disrupt the village's ceremony, he will do so soon. That I can do. Really? Here? Gallows End? Ah, suit yourself. Ugh, nutter. Too late. We were all too late. The new Scion, Bridget, she's gone mad. I noticed that she'd been acting strangely, refusing food, talking to herself. Most Scions experience moments of opacity, but this was different. When I questioned her, she grew hostile. I've never seen anything like it. A new magic, flashes of purple light. And then she was gone. Gone. You'll never find Bridget. Not unless you can see the invisible. I don't know. She has slipped free of this world. But I believe that we're all connected, hanging in the web of fate's grand design. There is an answer in the woven patterns. I just know it. Farewell.
the first, the Arathi. Greetings, dear Netta. If I view this record as a personal correspondence, it makes the distance bearable, keeps the fear at bay. You know how expeditionary travel vexes me. Eh, I shall begin. I was not certain what to expect following my disembarkation upon this grim isle. After initial investigation, there appears to be a significant Arathi presence. What do you seek, child? Bridget is gone. She resisted me at first, surrendered when she realized how painful I could be. Kel was correct. These villagers, so young, so foolish. And you, I see how you move through the world, how you tear through the threads of fate, where I only weave them. What are you? He said you'd find me in time, and here you are. It takes much to earn the gaze of dead Kel, child. You must truly be special. No, not yet, but it will end soon enough. Dead Kel will receive the blessing of Akara, even if it means that I must gain it first. No one shall stand in our way. Not man, not God. Kara, <laughs>
I didn't know. How could a lady? They are only human. My poor Bridget. All she wanted was to serve Akara, and he allows this to happen. What is his protection worth if he can't stop one witch? Whatever shall we do now? The offering is upon us, but we have no one to offer. Magic prevents dead Kel from entering this village and from taking part in the offering ceremony. He is broken and not worthy of Akara's blessing. The Whispering Witch would be his key to unlock the power he's always coveted. Possessing Bridget, she would take the role of Scion, and all of the power came with it. It was an insidious plot, but undeniably inspired. You? There are others who waited a lifetime for the opportunity, only to have another chosen. But you did have the vision to discover Dead Kel's plot, and the strength to defeat the witch. Is there anyone more worthy of Akara's blessing? Yes, this is what must be done. Go to the ruins on the northern mountain and claim our people's birthright. There is no other way. The offering is held at the top of the northern mountain, in the ancient ruin called the Ring of the Watcher. 